Hello everyone, welcome to the AWS PyCharm tutorial series. For this tutorial, we're going to deploy our APIs and finally test them in Postman. As you can see on my screen, I've chosen Administrator Access, which provides complete access to all the AWS resources. In my previous video, I used different policies, which is no problem, there are no issues with that. But recently there was information shared by AWS that AWS Lambda will deprecate two managed policies called AWS Lambda Full Access and AWS Lambda Read Only Access on January 25th, 2021. As you can see, PyCharm is already open. I right click on the project serverless demo, then at the bottom I click on deploy serverless application. I provide the stack name as serverless demo stack. This is required for cloud formation. Next, I create an S3 bucket serverless pycharm demo. This bucket will be created in the app south one region. Make sure require confirmation before deploying and build function inside a container are both checked. And finally, I click on deploy. It takes some time to build and package the application. The build and packaging process is complete. Now I'm going to click on Continue Deployment. As you can see on the Cloud Formation console, the stack is getting created. It will take a few minutes to complete. Okay, the stack has been successfully deployed. As you can see on my screen, I've opened API Gateway and it is displaying serverless demo stack. I will click on it. You can see the list of APIs along with their request methods like get, post, put, and delete. Next, I click on stages, which you see in the left sidebar. You remember we created the stage name as prod in the template.yaml file. I click on prod. Can you see the invoke URL? This is the URL from which we are going to access our APIs. Let me copy the URL and paste it in Postman. Okay, let's begin by testing the login API. I'm going to provide email and password. If the credentials are authenticated successfully, then I will receive a JWT token. As you can see, I've been successfully authenticated. And also, I received a token in response. I next provide the same token to get a list of all users. 
I paste the token in the authorization header. You can see I'm able to retrieve all the users. The API is working fine. Let me try to get information for a specific user. As you can see, I'm receiving the information for that particular user. Now I'm going to create a new user. I will be providing all the necessary information. Okay, the new user has been successfully created. Let me verify it. Great, the new user is appearing. Okay, now I'm going to update the same record. The method is going to be put. I will modify the first name and the last name into lowercase and change the email address from Gmail to Yahoo. The data has been successfully updated, as you can see on my screen. Let me verify it. Yes, the new changes are getting reflected properly. Let's move with the final API and delete the records from the database. The method is going to be delete. I don't need to pass anything in the body. As you can see, I received a 204 HTTP response. That means the record has been removed. Let me verify it. Perfect, the record does not exist. Finally, we have successfully performed all the operations starting from development to deployment in AWS, and all this happens smoothly through PyCharm. This tutorial is a jump start for those who want to get started with AWS Lambda and create serverless APIs. I suggest following the AWS documentation to stay updated about their latest offerings and the new improvements they are adding to their tech stack. In the next video, I will be cleaning up the resources which I created in AWS. If you are already aware of that, then you can skip it.